what a beautiful late morning what a beautiful start to a great late morning fishing trip just old nice and birds chirping in the background got a little little traffic noise but still very very enjoyable morning that'll be a tasty meal for tonight yes sir so this is update 19.2 uh, unit started off a little hotter so let's try it around 64 I haven't changed any settings other than the game that's all I've changed and we're gonna see what that does hadn't fished any uh, heavy structure yet but uh that's gonna be my main test the open water's been doing really great even with 19-1, but uh it's the it's the structure that structure fishing that I want to uh see if the target separation is back. 19-1 uh something went went terribly bad with it and uh I had great target separation. I could look at a brush pile and tell you where the fish was and the size of it and I lost all of that with uh, that update they didn't mention a whole lot about it in the description of this revised update but hopefully hopefully they uh, address that issue because uh, it's what helped me brag about Gorman so much because they were so much so so much more advanced than the other brands well good morning it is a good morning since i am out on the water and thank you for joining me this is my first trip after updating my 106 sv with lvs 32 transducer for my live scope with the Gorman's revised update from 19.1 to 19.2. I think I got some fairly decent scans for you guys to take a look at. And one of these days, I just might be able to afford a GPS map unit to where I'll be able to use the helm feature to bring you guys some of the recorded footage off of my unit. Or even better than that, it would be even nicer if Gorman would put out an update to whereas the ultra units will record I'm fairly sure that they got the capability of doing that would really be nice to see that happen in one of these updates that they put out guys sit back enjoy the show and uh, I think I got some fairly decent zoom in shots for you guys to take a look at and on top of that I got some really nice catches I will show you some of the shots of uh, the fish that I've, I caught and the actions that I gave the jig and the reactions of the fish yeah I know that most people think you get live scope and you go out and you just swipe that lake clean of every fish in it but let me tell you something just because you have live scope a lot of the rules that you used pre live scope you still have to use those and then there are, there are even more that you have to add to be successful while using live scope I'll try to share some of those I know a lot of you guys are probably still fighting with your settings with these units after uh, the update 19.1 I will tell you this I feel that I am getting a better result with 19.2 so don't be afraid of updating to 19.2 uh, another thing that I will tell you is to stop taking other people's settings and trying to apply it to your unit from what I am seeing each and every unit is different and what I mean by that your installation your wire routing your transducer setup makes a huge difference in the way you'll have to set your unit so the thing that I'm gonna try to give you today is the confidence to go out and a plot of settings that work for your unit now there are just certain things that you need to know about these units 
just like with any other side imaging units it's not a set and forget type of unit now a list of things that you will need to know about live tech with Gorman is forward range, down range, the transducer orientation, noise reject, TVG, ghost reject, color gain, color limit, and your gain. These are all really easy things that you can get to to set on your unit. And one of the biggest things that I've I see from a lot of people is they're scared they're scared they're gonna mess their unit up but here's the deal regardless of what you go in there and change you can always go back to factory default on your settings you will not mess this unit up and I will tell you this I've watched several videos I'm not happy with their re their results and what I mean by that the scans that they end up with with the settings they're using I'm not happy with it and this is not personal it's just my personal opinion I'm not attacking anyone and one thing that I will say is you will find that your unit your eyes your setup is going to require something different than what everyone else is using and I don't want to set anyone up for failure and that's what I feel you will be doing is setting yourself up for failure if you're just taking someone else's settings and applying it to your unit thinking that it's gonna gonna do uh, benefit you now the settings that you're changing you need to understand to make subtle adjustments to those units to dial your unit in and uh, like I always say I, I try to be as honest as I can with people especially my followers and uh, give you straightforward information and allow you to have the confidence that it takes to get out there and either catch fish or make adjustments to your units or whatever the case may be have the confidence to get out and make these changes and and uh, get your unit dialed in for your your eyes and your setup now these all all settings that are plain and simple to get to there's nothing complicated about Gorman they really did an excellent job of designing their menu to make it user friendly you know back in the day when I was a diehard hummingbird guy that's what I really loved about hummingbird is they made their menu super simple and Gorman has followed that and the the uh, menu getting into the menu is super easy and user friendly to help you out what I'll do is put up a tag to a live on the water video that I did that will show you how easy it is to get into the settings that I'm telling you about right now and also you'll see the settings that I'm using and it's like I said at the beginning of this video the only thing that I've changed so far with my unit is coming down on the main game that's on the front screen. The 19.2 does run a little bit hotter. Uh, I will tell you this, like I said a while ago, if you if you have updated to 19.1, going to 19.2 will benefit you because you'll get better readings. The clarity is better. There's a little bit better target separation. Uh, however, if you're at 18, I would advise you to stay at 18 because I feel that 18 was a just plain and simple better. Uh, better target separation. Uh, I am still dialing my unit in. I, I think that I can pound on Gorman a little bit more to maybe ha have them help us out a little bit more with another revision. If at all possible, they'll do it. Uh, they have been really good at, at uh, you know, making things right. Uh, and I look forward to getting this unit even better than what I had with 18 because I feel that it can be done. Those of you that have watched this far and feel that this information is valuable to you, please give the video a thumbs up. And also, I bring you real info, whether it's crappie fishing or on these units. 
hit that subscribe button and click that bell so that when I do bring new videos you'll be alerted and you'll be able to check the video out as you can see here I'm fishing in fairly shallow water about 10 to 12 foot of water and on top of that the structure comes up really high in the water column and these fish are hanging on the top part of it which is probably three foot under the surface now I will tell you this uh, I always say that positioning your boat to get as close as we are now to these fish requires stealth and what I mean by that you don't want your tro your troll motor on a high speed as you can see I'm slowly getting up to these fish I don't want to spook them and I'm gonna tell you we spook a lot more fish than we ever think uh, another thing too is I'm not allowing my jig and split shot to plop in the water that spooks fish big time I'm easing that jig down there to him I'm easing my boat up to him this is like hunting and I, I say it a lot it requires stealth Here's something else that you will find interesting that I've mentioned in a several of my previous videos is when you pull up on structure, especially thick structure, take a look at it from different angles because this live scope is no different than you shining a spotlight. And if those fish are tight to the structure like they have been lately, you will miss a bunch of fish if you don't scan that structure from different angles and and see where those fish are tucked in at and uh, and you know this little branch that's sticking up right here if if you didn't look at it from different angles you would never know that the fish were were stacked in it the way they were on this day I'm a licensed guy and if you would like to get out on the lake and get hands on of what I look for and the settings I'm running and the actions I'm applying to my jig, send me an email. I'll put my email right here at the bottom. Send me an email and we'll get you scheduled to get out on the lake with me and uh, get you some nice fresh fillets on top of that. And uh, guys, I really do want to thank you for hanging with me on this journey uh, I will have more footage coming very soon so be on the lookout be sure you're subscribed to the channel it's totally free it helps it grow it allows me to be able to do more things and bring you guys better footage